Former Supreme Court Justice Lord Jonathan Sumption joins me now. Good morning, Lord Sumption. Good morning. Um, can we just clarify, first of all, um, you read the judgment. Did the Supreme Court declare this unlawful because uh, of Rwanda or because they think such a plan in principle is wrong? No, they carefully avoided the political or broader merits of the Rwanda project. They confined themselves to looking at whether Rwanda was a safe place to send people to. That was the sole issue. Um, and what they decided was that it wasn't uh, because Rwanda's record of expelling refugees to places which are or may be unsafe uh, was bad, uh, and because Rwanda just didn't have the cultural, administrative, or political substructure which was necessary to perform an agreement of that sort. So if, if Rwanda somehow um, magically fixed its systems, um, it would be okay? Well, that's a very big if. Uh, you can't, uh, in a matter of weeks or months or even years, uh, simply turn a country like that into one with an impartial civil service, uh, an independent judiciary, uh, and a whole administrative culture. Um, this is a big ask. And I, although the Supreme Court uh, left open the possibility that over a period, Rwanda might improve, that's clearly not going to happen uh, by uh, Easter next year, which is the date indicated by the government, or for some time thereafter. So it, it's Rwanda that's the problem rather than the, the broader principle. Um, we read yes, this sir. morning that the Prime Minister's thinking uh, about sending British civil servants uh, out to Rwanda to manage the process. Do you think that would solve the problem problems raised by the Supreme Court judgment? Uh, I don't know, but I'm sceptical uh, because clearly uh, British civil servants can't take over the function of Rwandan ministers, officials and judges. Uh, they can obviously give guidance and give them the benefit of their experience. But ultimately, uh, what the main problem about this scheme is that it outsources to Rwanda the decision about whether people have refugee status or not. And Rwanda just is not up to the job. Uh, if we uh, take the Supreme Court's judgment seriously, and I do because it's based very on a very considerable volume of dispassionately analysed evidence. All right, well, we've, uh, we've been talking about the actual mecha machinery of, of the process, uh, but the, um, the other thing that uh, Mr Sunax talked about is emergency legislation that would change the law. Now, um, how... Could that I think work? what he's saying what, what, is that the, what would change, change in law constitute? Well, I understand that it's not proposed to change the law, uh, but to change uh, the facts. The, the Parliament is uh, going to be invited to declare that in the light of this new treaty uh, that the government intends to make, Rwanda is safe. And that means that the courts in the UK will have to assume it's safe, whether it is or not. Um, and that uh, would that would work domestically, but it wouldn't work internationally. Uh, so you uh, you really don't think that um, there's much that they could do to uh, to rescue this proposition by the sound of it? Well, uh, they could take the extreme line suggested by Suella Braverman and either um, uh, uh, withdraw. Uh, from the relevant treaty obligations of the UK, or ignore them. Uh, but the government has made it clear in statements from number 10 on Friday that they don't intend to do that. Uh, and that basically means that although the government may well ignore interim orders from Strasbourg, uh, they presumably intend to comply with final orders from Strasbourg. Uh, so uh, essentially that means uh, that the government is uh, risking an adverse judgment by a tribunal which will not pay the sl slightest attention to statutory declarations about safety. It will investigate safety if, for itself and presumably arrive at a conclusion very similar to that of the Supreme Court. Uh, so, so just in a word, it's dead, right? 
I think the current Rwanda scheme is probably dead, but we obviously have to suspend judgment until we see what this legislation or this new treaty looks like. There are uh, other okay. possibilities. They're not terribly attractive, but they do exist. Okay. Lord Sumption, thank you very much indeed 